Hello and welcome to the home of the Ghost Island. Here we are for another one of our Total Warhammer 3 sort of faction focus videos. The roadmap has recently been released with uh, factions getting additional Legendary Lord, Legendary Hero, Harry the Hammer has recently been released as a Legendary Hero for Warriors of Chaos. So I thought we'd take a look at... Um, what other possible legendary lords and heroes could be added to the game? I've been playing Warhammer Fantasy Battle since 1992. I've seen characters come and go. I have my favourites. Grand Cathay is a new faction. Uh, not a new faction in the lore, but was never had a full army book. There were sort of odd army lists and things floating around, but uh, never had a full army book in the, in the way the normal factions did. So an interesting one here. Uh, and, you know, it'd be interesting for me to see who is chosen. Uh, obviously, there are lots of characters. The Warhammer fantasy lore, you know, is decades old. There are hundreds of books and there are lots of people that could be chosen. I've tried to stick to the ones that have uh, rules and models and that were with it were, that were in the latest army book where possible, because that seems to be where... Um, uh, Creative Assembly has gone with many of the characters. Of course, there are some factions, Vampire Coast, Grand Cathay, and so on, that didn't have those books, but still have plenty of lore around them. So we've tried to stick to the characters that are the, the most well-known that, that people would have come across in reading books and stories, even if you weren't a complete lore master. So with Grand Cathay, it is a brand new faction. It came in total Warhammer 3. And it's one it's one of a couple, like, I mean, ignoring how Demons of Chaos, because Demons of Chaos, um, like Korn, Nurgle as the individual monogods, feel a little unfinished because they've been split up into individual factions. Grand Cathay and Kislev feel the most unfinished as factions and i think you know we've got used to factions from total warhammer one and two that have had dlc and had units added and, and, and lords added and so on so you know whereas these are brand new factions but they definitely feel like there's the, the potentially the most to add there um so if we take a look at grand cafe you know we've got meow ying the storm dragon and zhao ming the iron dragon so these are the dragons um they're the current lords only two lords and we see races that have six and seven lords in a lot of cases dark elves high elves lizard men skaven and so on um so there's definitely the potential for a lot of lords to be added to grand cafe particularly having lords that could be um, located outside of Cathay as well as a, as a starting location for, for various reasons. So when we look at the possible lords, well, you know, the first one you've got is is Zhen Yang, the Dragon Emperor. You know, he is the Cathayan dragon. Uh, he is the, the, the Emperor of Cathay. Um, but overall, do I really, you know, we've got Miao Ying and Zhao Ming as, the, as essentially his, you know, uh, essentially his offspring in that way. But I, I, you know, he's a possible Lord, but I'm not sure I see him as a playable Lord in the game. And I would say the same with um, Kuai Yin, the Moon Empress as well. Um, you know, she's the co-ruler of, of Grand Cathay uh, with Empress Zhen Yang, um, you know, known as the mother of all the Cathay and dragons. Um, but again, I, I'm not sure I see the Dragon Emperor and the Moon Empress as being playable lords. I think there are better choices um, that would fit better with leading armies conquering around the world or defending Cathay and so on. So uh, without further ado, let's see who those others would be. Well, we've got the Monkey King, a lot of people clamoring for the Monkey King. Uh, as a legendary lord um uh, what makes him so he he's actually a being of unknown origin um who was a one-time challenger to the dragon emperor's throne um so you know he would he would add an he would add a different element as a legendary lord uh, there is no doubt about that he would add a different element um so yeah definitely definitely a potential uh lord to add in and he say he would give that sort of the difference to it um, in terms of the other dragons, and that's really what we've got. So, you know, you look at um, Li Dao, the fire dragon. Um, uh, essentially, he's the lord of the southern provinces and the mountains of heaven. So you could definitely see him as a starting location there. Doesn't necessarily mean he's he's really far out of um, Grand Cathay, but, uh, you know, 
uh, you know, fire. Dra- you've had the storm dragon, the iron dragon. I think you know it'd be interesting to see the fire sea and jade, uh, and also see what they might give bonuses to. You know, you think we've got things like fire rain rockets and and stuff like that. Maybe there's some something in that. Uh, maybe even some new units to go with them as well. Um, the other one there, Yin Yin, the sea dragon, um, ruler of the eastern provinces, but also the admiral of the grand. Dragon Fleet. So I think that could be an interesting one where you might have something that's a bit more seaborne based. You know, you've kind of got, you know, the Loki of Fellhearts, who's like an admiral. You've got obviously the Vampire Coast, of course, but, you know, maybe there's something there in, in Yin Yin that would be different that has a bit more of a operating on coastlines, um, spending a bit more time at sea than maybe the other um, ones and some bonuses in and around that I think could be quite interesting. So um uh so that would be uh, uh an interesting um addition and then of course you've got yuan Bo, who is the jade dragon um uh son of the dragon emperor and lord of the central provinces uh i think the interesting thing you think about jade warriors and and so on and uh, other jade units bonuses in and around that but you know how much does that overlap with Xiao Ming? uh maybe there's new units in there as well that come out of it but um, essentially, those are the those are the ones I think that are uh, most likely and would be my choice for looking at making them legendary lords. It'd have to be interesting to see what other units would be added to the game to see how they would potentially interact. Because I do like it when you've got lord that is, you know, one that's uh, you know a good cavalry leader or one that's you know you, you know you look at Loki Felhar, you know particularly around Corsairs you look at Crone Hellebon and Harganeth um, uh, units so you know there's a law reason for it but they you know sort of buff a particular part of the army it kind of encourages you to take units that aren't just your default doom stack so I you know I do quite like that there's no current heroes in the game but in terms of the potential possibilities here you've got Yin Tuan who's a famous explorer and adventurer, kind of a bit like, you know, Felix and Gotrek in that way. Um, uh, so, you know, that that would be uh, that would be an interesting one, but I'm not sure how you'd represent them on the battlefield as being sort of a, some sort of great warrior, or, you know, and so on. Uh, whereas that's why I prefer Lin Li Chun. Lin Li Chun is a Cathayan wizard, but also a traveller. Um, so I think it would be nice to have a legendary wizard hero, um uh, and i think that that would definitely be my choice and certainly one that gets out and about you know as a traveler maybe the quest to unlock it is you have to have gone somewhere um you know in a region or or certainly expanded in a certain direction or you know you have to find him almost because he's out and about in the world i think that would be quite interesting so those would be my choices for grand cafe i think grand cafe's got you know so much more to come from it i could definitely see uh, more than one legendary lord being added to Grand Cafe. Uh, there's definitely more units to come. So, and definitely the faction that feels most unfinished. So, or, or most unfinished, along with um, potentially Kislev. Uh, those would be the, sort of the two. But, but Grand Cafe in particular just feels like so much more to add uh, to that faction. So, there we go. That is my take on the possible lords and heroes and my choices that I would put into the faction. Hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. But if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Let me know why in the comments down below. And also in those comments down below, please let me know uh, if there's other choices that you'd want to see in Grand Cafe uh, and the reasons why. And as always, if you want to see more of these videos, please hit the subscribe button. It's totally free for you to do, but it's really important for me. So thank you for that in advance. You've been watching The Ghost Owl, and I'll see you back very, very soon.